Hi, I'm Jorge Antonio Vallejos and you're watching BlackCoffeePoet.com and the Black Coffee Poet YouTube channel. What I do with this channel and website is I feature writers. Usually what I do is review books, I interview writers, and then I have a video of the writer reading from their book. I've also had musicians, I've had round tables, workshops, and I do vlogs like this where I talk about political things, politics, or like this, politics. Um, this is a follow-up to my last vlog which was called James Holmes, Shooter or Terrorist? That got quite a few hits, and people are talking about it and sharing it on Facebook. Let's hope you do the same with this one. Um, just a little thing to add to what was uh, said in the last one, where I asked James Holm, shooter or terrorist? Um, someone said, nope, no political means, not a terrorist. Not true. Let me read you the definition of terrorism, which is where a terrorist is associated with and comes from. The use of terror, violence, and intimidation to achieve an end, especially a political end. So not necessarily always politics or politics, not necessarily. Okay, um, so let's uh, talk just a little bit about that, um, how the media uh, has been calling uh, James Holmes a shooter as opposed to a terrorist. So what I'm asking in this video is if James Holmes wasn't white, Many questions come out of that. How would he be portrayed? How would he be thought of? How would he be talked of? Would he be alive? Would he still be intact? What we see of James Holmes now is, well, the prevalent image we see of James Holmes is of the, the cute white boy. You know, he does, uh, he's smiling, he's, he's harmless, uh, and they keep referring to him as this educated guy and what happened, etc., etc. They're not showing a mean grill as they would with non-white folk. Usually what you see when they have someone uh, who's done something as horrific, and I'm not just saying only white people do this stuff, but usually if it's a person of color who's done something uh, of this nature, or any type of crime, whether it be small or big, whether you're carrying half a gram of weed, or whether you've murdered somebody, they show the mean face. You know, that's the image that you see. No, 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 no. What we're seeing with James Holmes, primarily more prevalent the images. Now, there are some photos of James Holmes with red hair, and, you know, they have kind of tried to vilify him as well. But usually when it's a person of color, a non-white person, it's 100%. You've got a mean grill. So think about that. The other thing is, um, how the hell is James Holmes still intact? And I mean physically. Like, they've showed the recent pictures, not one mark on his body. Let's be honest here. If he was of color, if he was black, Latino or Mestizo, Muslim, uh, which are, you know, um, the main groups of color in the States. There's lots of people in the States, but the ones that are the most highly incarcerated um, are blacks and Latinos and Mestizos. When they're done, when the police are done with them, boy, let me tell you, they are not smiling. They are not okay. They are black and blue and have broken bones. Not James Holmes. James Holmes killed 12 people, shot 71 in total, not a mark on his body. Let me tell you right now, if James Holmes was of color, was of the Muslim faith, you would see a very different James Holmes if he was alive. Okay, if he was still alive, you'd see a very different James Holmes. And what would the police say? We found him like that. He must have got trampled, you know, on that big mess in the movie theater after he shot everybody, you know? No, this guy is A-OK. -okay. Anyways, so um, to, to, to go to something that I saw on uh, Facebook, which is, uh, you know, leading into this and part of this vlog, and this was um, a photo, that cute photo of, um, of James Holmes with words on it. And um, the person that put it up was Kim Katrin Cosby, who's a friend of mine on Facebook, and uh, Ochiang Catlip. I don't know if they made it. That's why I'm saying their names to give them credit. I think they made this clever thing. I don't know. Anyways, so it's got the cute face and then words. Over his face and then the other half is the things I'm going to read. But the first thing over his face is, over James Holmes' face, so they're saying it as if he said this. I massacred innocent men women and children in a movie theater but the media must like me why number one if i was black 
they'd say I was a violent, drug-addicted gang member. Two, if I was Latino, they'd say I was a dangerous, illegal alien who shouldn't have gotten in the country. Three, if I was Muslim, they'd say I was a terrorist and there were others. And in all three cases, I'd be dead. And you know what? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's true. Now they continue. But I'm white. So they call me a top student who graduated with honors but couldn't find work. I might have been disturbed or bullied or depressed. And I'm only a suspect now. Suspect. And I'm alive. All true. So James Holmes is alive. Uh, in one case they call him a shooter, in another case they call him a suspect. They never use the T word, terrorist. Um, and let's not forget that James Holmes, as I mentioned earlier in my video, James Holmes shooter or terrorist, um, didn't just shoot people in a theater. Okay, there's more to it. James Holmes had an apartment full of, guess what? Bombs, sophisticated bombs, booby traps, trip wires. You ever seen those Vietnam movies where there's guys walking in the jungle and then they cross a line and then you see a leg fly off? You know, those movies that talk about the Vietnam War, American propaganda. Um, the one true one is Platoon by Oliver Stone, which talks about how basically men of color, black, Latino, and native were on the front lines and there to be killed. They're the ones who had their legs blown off. Keep that in mind. Um, that's what James Holmes had in his apartment. They had to clear the area. Five surrounding buildings were evacuated. People were put in shelters. People were put in motels. Uh, they were said, you got to go because you might blow. Now, that's not just a shooting. That's terrorism. And these were sophisticated bombs. They weren't something that came out of that old book that, you know, everyone talks about the anarchist cookbook where you build a pipe bomb in your washroom or something like that. Nope. This is the real deal. These are things that are going to blow up buildings around you, not just your apartment. Mm, kind of sounds like a terrorist to me. Anyways, so, um, but no, we've got this guy who's attacked, cute-faced and being called a suspect by some, a shooter by others, but not a terrorist. And the interesting thing is that they did bring in uh, experts from all over the country to deal with these bombs, capital B, bombs. But Homeland Security wasn't called. I'm not talking about the original Homeland Security, uh, comprised of indigenous peoples from many different nations across the landmass now known as the Americas, North, Central, and South. Nope, not those original peoples from the land that I'm standing on and the lands lower beneath me, North, Central, and South, fought off invaders from Spain, Portugal, France, Holland, and Britain. Nope. Not those people who have been fighting colonialism for 500 years and continue to fight colonialism today. Not that Homeland Security. I'm talking about the new Homeland Security that came about uh, 11, 10 years ago. 12, yeah, 11 years ago. 9-11. Anyways, they're not involved. Why? Because supposedly James Holmes is not a terrorist. He's a suspect, a shooter, and he's alive, and he's unmarked. Okay. Anyways, so... To follow up from what uh, I read earlier that was on that poster, let me give you some examples of people who didn't shoot anybody, who didn't commit a crime, and are now not alive. In 2010, Anastasio Hernandez Rojas, an illegal alien, uh, was beaten to death, beaten severely, tortured, tased, had a heart attack, his brain went dead and he died. Who did that? The Border Patrol in San Diego, 2010. Uh, National Public Radio, Amy Goodman, they did a really good um, segment on it about two months ago. I almost puked. They actually have video. Um, it's, it's horrific. So if you watch it, be warned. It's really sad and disturbing. A guy that looks like me who was walking, uh, that's all he was doing, was walking. You know, you've heard of driving while black, while well, walking while brown. That's all he was doing, walking and um, he's dead. Family man, 42 years old, innocent, hard worker, did nothing. Okay, uh, then um, Kenneth, Camber Ch sorry, Kenneth Chamberlain Sr., 68 years old, in White Plains, New York. 68-year-old man with a heart condition slept with him, some kind of a device that he could uh, press in case he had a heart attack. Um, rolled over the device, 
police and ambulance were called. 68 year old man. The cops kicked in his door and shot him to death. Uh, I can't remember when that is, sorry I didn't write that down. That was pretty recent, I don't know if that was 2011 or 2010. Uh, again, 68 year old man, retired, uh, honest, hardworking black man, uh, and um, dead because he rolled over a device that signaled uh, help. Uh, Mohammed Chaudhry, Mohammed Uzman Chaudhry, age 21, Los Angeles, 2008, shot dead by the police. Apparently, he uh, attacked a cop with a knife. Um, again, in this Islamophobic country, that was the charge. Again, this Islamophobic country, um, the jury didn't even believe it. That says a lot. In an Islamophobic country, if the jury doesn't believe the cop, that says a lot. Anyways, 21 years old, 2008, Los Angeles, dead. Okay. So, um, but James Holmes is still alive. James Holmes walked into a theater, armed to the teeth shot 12 people dead, critically injured two people, injured many, many people, shot 71 people who's alive and attacked, no bruises. And the picture they show of him is one that is a cute one. Okay, so um, what am I trying to get at here is to get into your head that some people are vilified and some aren't. Another photo that I saw on Facebook that someone did says, and it's got that cute face of James Holmes, I shot 71 people, killed 12 of them. If I were a Muslim, they would call me a terrorist. And he's right. Well, sorry, the person who said that is right. Anyways, um, I'm gonna read a quote now by Chris Rock. I'm not as funny as Chris Rock, I'm not Chris Rock, so I'm not gonna have the same voice and accent and all that. But keep in mind what he said. They keep trying to scare us. They keep telling us to be on the lookout for Al-Qaeda. I ain't scared of Al-Qaeda, I'm from Brooklyn. I don't give a fuck about Al-Qaeda. Motherfuck Al-Qaeda. Did Al-Qaeda blow up the building in Oklahoma? No. Did Al-Qaeda put anthrax in your mail? No. Did Al-Qaeda drag James Bird onto the street till his eyes popped out of his head? No. I ain't scared of Al-Qaeda. I'm scared of Al-Cracker. Something to think about in this um, racist society, Islamophobic society, um, you know, these are all really good points. Um, James Holmes is more than a shooter. He did do a terrorist act. He terrorized people. He killed people. He had bombs in his apartment. He planned this for months. This was all done uh, in a time where he put energy and time and thought and work. Um, a lot of planning, man. This is not some guy who did a random thing, you know? And a lot of people are gone now because of that. And a lot of people are affected because of that. And it's not just people who had family. It's people like us who are so far removed. But now we're saying, hey, why is this guy treated different? If it was somebody like us, if it was a black person, a Latino or a mestizo person, if it was a Muslim person, you know, different peoples of color are vilified in different ways. If it was one of us, James Holmes wouldn't even be here, or at least he'd be labeled properly. Um, so yeah, some people are labeled in some ways. Uh, governments, do, do, uh, governments use definitions uh, the way they want to. So some person is a terrorist, some people aren't. Um, some people are alive, um, and some people aren't when they've done nothing wrong. So please think about that. Uh, if you're a white person who's an ally, yeah, thank you very much. If you're a white person or even a person of color who's never thought about this stuff, you know, because you have so much privilege and you live different lives than people like me, uh, think about this stuff. This stuff's real. Uh, if you're a white person uh, who's a full-fledged racist, you can change. If you're a person of color who also uh, practices lateral racism, uh, you can change too. You know what I mean? Um, so think about this stuff, spread this, share it, uh, make it viral, and think about if James Holmes was not white. Keep tuning in. Keep tuning in to blackcoffeepoet.com and the Black Coffee Poet YouTube channel. Thank you very much.